iOS Switch Control has different modes to help you control your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Item mode is the switch scanning method that you'll see in many assistive devices. In this method, a frame highlights an item at a time. This could be done by group, row, or individual element. If you select that the scanning goes by group or row, the navigation process is faster. In the switch control settings, you can set up the speed of the scanning or assign an external switch to control the movement. The second mode is called gliding cursor, or formerly known as point mode in iOS 12 and earlier. You can change to it via the scanner menu. In this mode, a vertical bar comes panning left to right, and when you press your switch and select an area, a horizontal bar comes panning top to bottom for you to select a point on the screen. At that point, the system will tap as if you were using your finger and you are able to do a gesture. This mode is useful for games or busy screens with many links. To change modes, you need to be able to access the scanner menu. Depending on your switch control settings, this could be done in different ways, but the easiest way is to set tap behavior to default. This will bring the scanner menu every time you select an item. Auto tap will tap automatically unless you double click your switch. Always tap will add the scanner menu to the end of every screen. Once it is set, you'll be able to go back to item mode using the scanner menu. Depending on your menu items, you may need to go to the next page in the scanner menu and can do so by selecting the small dots at the bottom of the scanner menu.